we have here 60 sick students mm -hmm. then we have the same pauses but we have double s mm -hmm. because here is ks mm -hmm. 66 students so the difference here is mm -hmm. pronunciation extra s s mm -hmm. pause s You're scratching your microphone. <laughs> your hair's on it. Yes. Okay. Six, sixty-six, sixty-six students. Sixty-six students. Sixty-six students. I'll say one of them and you tell me which one I'm saying. Mm, okay. 66 students. 66. 66. You tell me one. Yeah. 66 students. I got it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Outstanding. Outstanding. Just one second. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> look, you're reading the wrong place. Yeah. No, no, I did my purpose because I already read ah. that one and I have a confusion before. Ah, okay. About, no, no, I know it's a bad error. <laughs> <laughs> I have been working for two days already. Yeah, okay. Just I'm tired. I'm, I know. This class makes me very tired as well. The teacher had 66 students today. 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 So, Spice Center has got two S's. Mm -hmm. Spice Center is the same pauses, but we haven't got this second S, because mm -hmm. this C is pronounced? Spice Center. Spice Center. Spice Center. For the, for the Pakistanis, no? Yeah. Spice Center. That's it for James Bond. Yeah. Uh, Spice Center. Okay. Do you know where the Spice Center is? And a bit more natural. Do you know where the Spice Center is? Do you know where the Spice Center is? The center is. Center is. That's it. They, they do the join together, yeah. the R and the I. Why do you join that? Mm? Why do you join the R and the I? What's the rule? Why? What's the rule? They are, they get together. Why? What's the rule? When a word finishes in a consonant ah, yes. and the yes. next one starts in a vowel. Yes, they get the yeah. And also, we've got here two S's. We've mm -hmm. got S and then another S. So I'm sort of joining those together, the spice center. Spice Center. That's it. There's two S's sort of joined together as well. Mm -hmm. A bit more than in Spy Center. Yeah. There's Spice. a bit more separate. The SS can sort of join together. Do you know where the Spice Center is? That's it. And there you joined at the end. Mm -hmm. Because we need to separate in certain things and we need to join together in other things. Otherwise everything's separate or everything's joined together. Mm -hmm. When you hear the Spanish politicians speak, they separate not only each word, but each syllable in the word, mm -hmm. and it just makes them boring. Mm -hmm. Nobody listens. Mm -hmm. So here, what's the difference? Stuff he knows, stuff he knows. So what's the difference? Stuff he knows, stuff he knows. Is there H A E? And also and the pause between stuff and he. And in but yeah. but do you remember when we did the weak H? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Give him it. Give him me. Yeah. Give her it. Give her it. Give her it. Give it there. Give her it. Give it there. No. Nope. Give her it. Give it there. Give. Give. I'll put it on the board. Your, your, your brain's not following me. Yeah. Give it there. 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 Give it there.
Hi, hey, no pens. <coughs> Excuse me. So, where do we join? Mm -hmm. Where do we make the liaison? Give her it. Where do we make the liaisons? So, where do we join? Uh -huh. Where do we join? Uh -huh. where do we, where? Which words do we join together? Give her it. Everything. We put the E and the H. We put the away, and we're making give her it. Okay, so we always join this, uh -huh. and here we can do what's called a weak H. Yes. So, we go from the give her. Give her it. Give her it. So the last sound here mm -hmm. is which sound? Uh, what does this word end in? What sound? Give. Exactly. So it ends in the V. We don't have an E. Yeah. Give and it. the next sound begins in the E. Uh, so give her it. Give her it. Give him it. Give it. Give him it. Give her it. Give him it. The same thing, huh? Give her it. This? No. Give him it. Give him it. Give him it. Give him it. So I'm taking the same one, but I'm using the masculine. Can we catch? Give him it. Give him it. Give him it. You're saying an N here. Give him it. Give him it. That's it. Give her it. Give her it. Give her it. Give her it. Then the example we have here. Okay. This is even more weak H. So, stuff. Okay. Do we join these two? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not the same because it's ending in a vowel and the next one's a consonant, so they're not quite the same joined, okay? But you can even do the weak H here. You can even do the weak H here. So you can say, stuffy nose. Stuffy nose. So, you have <laughs> stuffy nose, which is what you have today, no, with your uh, airplane hangover. Mm -hmm. And it's, so it's phonetically the same because of the weak H. Stuffy nose. Stuffy, what means stuffy nose? Stuffy nose is a, nar a nariz congestionada. Ah, but you said like when it's bad. The, 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 this is a stuffy nose. Okay? Okay. And stuff, he knows. But nose. here you can do a weak H, so it can be the same. Stuffy nose. Stuffy nose. <laughs> I love it. Give him 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 it. Give her it. Give her it. Yeah. So, here, you can hardly read that. You can hardly read it with these bad marker pens. I'm going to throw these two in the bin. So, read the examples. Okay. Where is the microphone? Uh, just one second. She, just one second. She shrieked when a stranger pinched her ear. Finish in T. Pinch. Because everything that ends in ch, in the past tense, that ed is pronounced. Lunch. Lunch. That's it. She shrieked. She she shrieked 
when a stranger when a stranger pinched her ear. She shrieked when a stranger pinched her ear. She shrieked when a stranger pinched her ear. Again. She shrieked. Shrieked. She shrieked when a stranger pinched her ear. Pinched. Pinched her ear. Again. She shrieked when a stranger pinched her ear. That's it. Pause.